Ladies, it's Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. And it's been a really long time since I've uploaded a fully colored picture by me because a lot of stuff has been happening over the past couple of weeks. First of all, Inktober has happened, so my mind is focused on that. And then Hurricane Matthew hit and school has taken away all of my time to do anything. So that's the reason why you've been seeing me post a lot more on Instagram than here because I don't have the time to work on a finished illustration and this illustration was actually sketched in my sketchbook and I was really debating on just throwing it away because I was like I don't like it I know it's not going to turn out right if I ink it so there's no point in me keeping it and after I recorded my sketchbook update with the sketchbook this was in i'm like you know what i'm gonna rip this out and i'm gonna ink it and i'm gonna fix stuff that needs to be fixed and i'm gonna finish it because i owe it to you guys to give you a illustration after all the sketchy videos that i've been uploading so i kind of kicked myself in the tail and was like you're finishing this drawing and like i did i did fix a lot of stuff because a lot of things i didn't like and i'm like no this is not going on YouTube and the picture was actually bigger than this like the characters in the middle their bodies were fully shown but I'm just like you know what this picture can be small and simple because I really think this picture kind of shines through with the size that it is now so um getting that out the way this is actually a fan art image I did of Akari who's the girl on the left and Rapongi, who is the guy on the right from the anime a miracle train because I've been a long time fan of this show and I'm like I need to do a fan art that is completely my own <clears throat> excuse me because a year or two ago I did do fan art of this show and it was basically me stitching two pictures I found of them on Google together and coloring it and it's my own and I was like that isn't right that isn't my own so I'm gonna do something that's completely 100% me and like it and let me just tell you guys I love this picture and I'm just gonna look at it from now on and just be happy that I got something done of these two characters that I do really love and um I really do recommend this anime you guys if you haven't seen it it's an oldie and it's really good I promise promise you you will not waste time watching it because originally I thought it was going to be a bore because the show basically centers around the train stations in Japan and the train stations are actually guys the guys are based off train stations and basically the gist is that females get on their train and they basically help them with their issue and if the females like you know what I don't need your help they can't leave the train because these guys have to help them with their issue and and let them be happy for the rest of the day and I'm like that's such a cheesy story but as soon as I finished it I'm like that was the most amazing thing I have ever seen in my life and these two characters are honestly the love interest if I have to say so myself because because during the show, this girl is a kid. And you're just like, ew, that's not right. But later on in the show, you kind of realize that she's not a kid. She's actually a grown up. But something happened to her to make her stay as a kid. But in reality, if they would date each other, it would work. And I find them so cute together. <laughs> so with my image, in the middle, I put them when they first met. And then on the sides is them when they actually departed each other because circumstances happened and they just could not be together at the end of the show. So it is kind of a sad ending, but then it's cute because there could be a love between a human and a train station because that is a quote that kind of runs through the show is that could you fall in love with a train station and at the end is basically yes because they fall, they fell in love with each other. So, um, I think that's basically it with me rambling on about the picture. But, um, I colored this with my Prisma colors, as always. And I lined this with a Prisma color 
fine liner in size three because three has become my favorite size ever and um the reason why i didn't really want to do a finished illustration as well is that a lot of my prismacolor colors are running low like my skin colors are just dying on me so i'm like i'll make a full illustration i guess once every two weeks i guess but i can't make illustrations as much as i want because my prismacolors are dying and I'm going to have to save them while I can because I ain't got no money to buy a replacement for my skin tone. So if you don't see a lot of Prismacolor artwork, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll do more Crayola artwork because I miss using my Crayola coloring pencils, man. So, um, yes, those are my materials. And um, for the paper, I use my sketchbook paper. The sketchbook I, I'm working on right now, I use that paper to do this drawing. And I like it. It takes ink really well. The only thing I would have to say that doesn't work on this paper, watercolor is like an if and an and. If you put something on the back to kind of keep the paper straight, watercolor is decent. But this paper works really well with ink with colored pencil, with pencil, with Copic, it's amazing. And that's about it. And I would advise with Copic and coloring pencil, don't add a lot of layers because the paper will give in and it will become really scratchy. It, well, it becomes scratchy with the colored pencil, but with Copic, it bleeds a little bit through the paper. So yes, so when I was actually using my colorless blender colored pencil, it was ripping the paper. So I was like, I need to not use it that much. So I'll only use it, I only use my colorless blender when I had to. So um, yes, and I really need to find my marker version of the colorless blender because I'm not saying the pencil version of the colorless blender blender is bad it's just that the marker makes everything a lot more easier for me so my video is sadly wrapping up it's weird because I talked for the whole video and I'm like this video is eight minutes how, I'm, how am I gonna do this but um I did it so um and I hope you guys like this filming style like if I'm doing itty bitty de details I will zoom my camera in and I'll zoom it out when I want you guys to see more of the background so um that's it so so thank you guys for watching give this video a like if you liked it put a comment down in the comment section below and oh I do have an online shop open so I will have the link in the description below and go check it out because I do have some of my artwork on there if you really want to grab a piece of it so um more items will be added but that's is that is just what it is for now <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and i guess i i will see you soon in my inktober videos so bye bye